Hey, so let's jump in on how to create a persona with people you want to communicate with on a regular basis using ChatGPT prompts and variables. We've done a bit of this before. I think it's really valuable, particularly if you want to learn how to communicate with people who might be your boss or your colleagues or your employees, and you're speaking with them on a regular basis and you want to just learn to be a better communicator. This is just a really nice way to take advantage of chat so that you can get better results when you're asking it to write content for you. Okay, so let's jump right in. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start at the beginning with the typical thing um, that you've seen me use before. I'm going to provide you with the definition of components that we'll be using for creating a persona. We will call this information equals persona. I want you to store these components for later use, right? So again, what I've done in this video is pre-populate all the information for chat so that we don't have to sit here and wait for it to fill for us. So this is information that I've used before. The key here is that at the very end, I say, once you've ingested this information, please respond with red and we'll move to the next step. So you can see here, it responds with red. Great, now we're moving on. I'm gonna provide you with informational sources that I will define via the following information. I want you to remember this information for later use. Then we'll use these informational sources to create specific content that I request. Again, I ask it to respond with red. So now we've got another set of instructions. Very quickly get through this. It says red. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some data that we wanted to ingest about the person that we're going to do a persona analysis on. So in this section where you're populating information, you might reference their LinkedIn profile, you might look at tweets that they've put out, uh, any sort of articles that maybe they've published or public presentations that they've given. There's all sorts of information that people like to share about themselves and it's readily available. And if they wanna share it, then go ahead and take advantage of that and populate it in here. The key here is that for each data source, you wanna create a different prompt that references that data source. And then at the bottom, you can ask ChatGPT to collect all of those data sources when it is populating the persona for you, right? So if you have a section that says tweets, a section that says resume, a section that says LinkedIn bio, you can create variables for each one of those. And then at the bottom, you would say, okay, chat, take tweets, LinkedIn bio, and resume and populate this persona based on those elements. That variability is really up to you and what's available and what you wanna do, but this approach gives you flexibility to input a bunch of different things without confusing the tool. So in this case, I've chosen Nate Brigazzi, mostly because there's a whole bunch of information on him that's current and I just feel like he's a very nice, relatable guy and it was easy to grab some stuff um, in this case, I have this article from Variety Magazine. Uh, it's a very lengthy article that was done a few months ago, uh, and it just gives a ton of great information. So I just collected this data and I dropped it right in here, and we'll see all of that has been populated here. But again, the very end of it, I just give it this notification. Please confirm you have ingested this information by responding red and we'll proceed to the next step. There's another way you can do this by incorporating that sentence up at the top so you don't have to wait to put it in at the very bottom of the article. However, in this case, I just did it here um, and I like this too. So again, it says red and we know we're ready to move on to the next step. So this part is really important. What I'm asking you to do here, this is something similar to what you've seen before, but I'm asking ChatGPT to take on a role, right? So it's got a certain set of skills, knowledge, experience that I wanted to embody, and then we're gonna use that for the next step. I don't move to the next step yet because I want this role, again, to be a separate variable. So I define the role here as a professional therapist with more than two decades of experience studying, analyzing, and publishing on human personality traits and characteristics. And then it's going to write me things that are going to help to motivate and inspire and persuade people. Great. I then tell it again to tell me that it's red and we'll move on to the next step. So the next step that you can see here relates to the prior information that I fed it when I was defining what a persona is. And essentially I'm asking it to populate these six different characteristics of a persona. Now, what it does here, of course, is give me those answers in nice detail based on the article that I populated previously. And it gives me four bullets there and three, three for behaviors, um, three for goals and aspirations. And you can see it's covered all the, all the territory here. Right. So the reason that I like having this variability here is, let's say 
I don't have all this information about someone who's, who I work with or I want to be communicating with on a regular basis. I can make adjustments to it without having to impact the prior information. So I don't have to go back and start over. It can just be edited here in this late stage of the prompt priming. So in this case now, I've dropped it down to just four categories. And you can see that ChatGTP has actually, because it has been requested to release less inform or fewer numbers of categories, it actually populates more information for each one of those categories. So we get five bullet items here, six under psychographics, uh, four, four, and four, right? So it just elaborates more and gives us better detail on each one of these. So again, I really love this methodology. I'm gonna put these exact prompts plus some more information down below via the link. Follow that link to my website. It's gonna go ahead and give you all these exact prompts. Uh, it's not gate kept. You don't need an email or anything like that. It's just there for you to take. I hope it works for you and you can use it effectively in your job. Thanks very much.